So today we are starting off the night of horror with the Back Rooms 1998. I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure this, hold on, let me see exactly. This game came out, uh, May 25th. So like a couple weeks ago. Uh, I believe the back rooms are like a new kind of sort of like a creepypasta thing that they've turned into like a analog horror style thing on YouTube. It's mainly primarily a YouTube thing. I think there's like a YouTube series on the back rooms and it has I, th I think the story of the back rooms is usually like it's like something that exists outside of reality and you could get into the back rooms and uh, it kind of goes on infinitely and shit like that. You know, I don't really know much about them. Uh, but I do always get like these YouTube series recommended to me that I should definitely watch. And I don't really know much about the game except for the couple of screenshots that I've seen and people telling me it's pretty awesome. You can only save by finding a television and a VHS thing. Oh boy. Alright. That classic VHS sound. <laughs> How loud is it? I feel like it's very loud. Chat, is it loud? And we are rolling. Do a 360! Oh. Nice one, Drake. Look at these fools trying to skate. <laughs> Come on, man. Do something cool. Do something cool. Famous. They're just skating about. Oh, yeah, Drake. He tests 1998 because they're skateboarding. He's got his vans. Whoa! Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh. And he fell into the back rooms. So I'm actually playing now. Oh, my voice affects the in, the in-game stuff. Eric can hear everything. Ah. Uh. I don't know if I want that. That's kind of terrifying. Bro, I fell into the back rooms. Chad, help me. Oh man, this is gonna go on. I can't wait to upload this to YouTube. Wait, what's YouTube? Guys, you think this is funny? <laughs> I like how he's like, you think this is funny, you guys? What type of prank? Where'd you get this gigantic room from? All right. Yeah, why are we barricading? What's going on in here? Jesus. Okay. Man. I feel like that doesn't look safe, does it? Hello, dude? Dude, is that you? Have you seen my copy of Encino Man? Haha, <laughs> that's so creepy. Little Timmy, when he was younger, with his favorite jacket after eating his favorite lunch, fried chicken. So happy. Love you. X. Is that Radiohead? It's Little Timmy. <laughs> Little Timmy just eating fried chicken all day. Alright, the light's on. <gasps> Oh! Why did I get a jump scare like that? Dude... Do these dolls usually have nipples? <sighs> okay... Did that one just turn? Boo. Hello, dudes. Don't you guys want to keep skating? The park is going to close. Ah! Oh! You see his eyes following me? It's usually a good idea to turn your back on the scary doll. I forgot I'm here just for the door key. That means I need to go back. Ah! <sighs> fuck! Oh, I told you. Wait, did he whistle? What happened? What was that? Was that a whistle? What happened to their heads? At least you kept the good bits. Fuck. 
What up, bitch? That was outside. Jesus Christ, that fucking scared me. Oh, I swear to God, I just saw something peeking around that corner. Did I just see something peeking around that corner? Is that a reference to PT? Littleton's body was found two days later near the Lakeland Forest. He was found wearing his favorite yellow jacket and blue jean shorts, the same clothes he had been wearing at the time of the kidnapping. Little Timmy died. However, both of his arms and his head had been detached from his body. It is said that Little Timmy was most likely kidnapped and tortured. Jesus! His severed head was found near his body, while his arms were found some distance away. An autopsy revealed that he had been knocked unconscious with a blunt object, such as a hammer. It is also believed that little Timmy may have been alive while his arms were severed, <gasps> which could explain why his arms were found further from his body. Little Timmy most likely ran around, armless, for a few minutes, calling out for his parents to rescue him to no avail. That's sad. The loss of blood. That is the point at which the killers... Wait, the image changed. It's all scratched out now. The autopsy also revealed that his last meal had been spicy fried chicken. The case is still unsolved, so if anyone has any information, please reach out to local authorities. Well, hey, at least he had some fried. I did enjoy some fried chicken. Is that a yellow jacket and blue shorts kid standing there? Oh my god, little Timmy, are you okay? You know what's kind of funny? He looks like a chicken now. Like the fried chicken he ate. Kind of ironic. Alright. <laughs> Something knocked. <laughs> Hello? This is where I can't make a sound anymore, I think, chat. Okay. We'll see how loud we can get away with. We'll see. Whew, okay. It's basically saying, like... There's ways on how not to die. Closed doors. I always do that in every horror game for some reason anyways. Goddamn jump scares. Guys? So what do I do against that? How do I mark my path? Oh, there we go, F. Now I know where I've been. <laughs> if I had used up all your paint, you would have deserved it. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to step on this glass again. The only way, I think. Whoa! <laughs> Your reaction made me jump. I didn't see what it was. It was a cockroach. This is fucked up. I need to get out of here right now.
crouched! I crouched! Again, I crouched. Am I crouching? Uh... <laughs> okay, well, I didn't expect to get stuck there. That was uh, wonderful. Stretch my shoulder, which still hurts. <sighs> now, if he's standing in front of me when I uh, unpause it because I've been talking and making noise, and I'm going to shit my pants. And he's close. He's like in the other room. Four, seven, three. Remember that. <laughs> He's coming. All right, and then we got one objective. Oh shit. I thought that was in the game. Fuck me, I heard an alarm in the back. <sighs> I heard a neck crack as well, but that may or may not have something to do with stuff. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, we still got about three items we need to find. He's close. I don't know where though. I like how I think that me talking further away is going to make it so he doesn't hear me. with so much swag, honestly. Well, that almost fucking killed me. That was attempted murder.
Why did it sound like I was stepping on glass? Did he come in here? Oh! oh, oh. happened you know scream right now if i wanted to yeah of course you're slow you're running with a shit your pants how do you expect me to fucking run <laughs> i have a fucking skateboard in my hand and a shit in my pants and a fucking camera on my left hand how do you want me to run You can kind of see a pattern. Every time I get an objective, a pop-up scare happens. Which I think is intended to try to make you scream. So that the fucking monster hears you. We've got it. the three on the right, now we need the three on the left. Oh, is that a little blue, a little blue, a little blue toy car, train thing? That was the root sandstorm. Oh, thank God for the heal. Ah, oh, okay. One little break. Ah! This game is scary. And I have no... I think I'm heading the right way considering we found another heal. But I could be like... I need to start marking more. I've completely like forgotten to mark everything. Mm. so fat I didn't even have to sit in the chair to break it. <gasps> what was that, a little lizard? Just softly say insults. I'm kind of lost on where to go anymore. It doesn't say maidenless. <laughs> this 
slow down. You're gonna get hurt. Gotta be kidding me! Oh my god, thank god there was a locker in here. It's mine, bitch. Hey, Timmy, you bitch! Oh my god, he hurt me. He hurt me. <laughs> he actually went to the spot where I yelled. No maidens. What the hell? from all these pop-up scares, I'm gonna be honest. <sighs> okay. At least I'm getting more used to the pop-up scares, but it still scares the shit I mean, just try not to... I tried but failed. So the peaked around the corner again. This might be the most jump scare game I've ever played in my existence. He said I couldn't see you, bitch. I clearly saw you. You're a little fucking chicken. It's been a while since I heard little Timmy. <gasps> I got everything. Now we just gotta get out. Safely. What? Wait, what? Did I get out? We are rolling. What? Wait, what happened? This is just the intro again. I think I got out of the back rooms. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah! Whoa, look at that! Whoa! Breathing. 
They said he broke his neck and then they left him? So that's what actually happened. He broke his neck? How'd he break his neck doing a little, little ollie? What a little pussy. Hey Liam, Drake, come check out this little wimp. What a fucking idiot. Did they murder the kid? What's he doing all alone here? Let's go fuck with him. <laughs> Grab the hammer. Oh my god, they murdered the Leo, kid. Get his back. Let's go lock him up. Get the hammer. Get the hammer. Let's go. <laughs> Let's lock him up in Liam's house. Have some fun with this little shit. Oh shit. Almost a week had passed since the shocking, gruesome discovery of little Timmy. The 11-year-old was walking on his way home when he most likely was kidnapped. His mother made a public plea to the killer to release her son, saying she just wanted him home so she could cook him his favorite meal, spicy fried chicken. Little Timmy's body was found two days later near the Lakeland Forest. He was found wearing his favorite yellow jacket and blue jean shorts. The same clothes he had been wearing at the time of the kidnapping. However, damn, little, little Timmy. And his head had been detached from his body. It is said that little Timmy was most likely kidnapped and tortured. His severed head was found near his body, while his arms were found some distance away. An autopsy revealed that he had been knocked unconscious with a blunt object, such as a hammer. It is also believed that little Timmy may have been alive while his arms were severed which could explain why his arms were found further from his body. Little Timmy most likely ran around, armless for a few minutes, calling out for his parents to rescue him, to no avail, until he passed out from the loss of blood. That is the point at which the killers caught up to him and chopped off his head. The autopsy also revealed that his last meal had been spicy fried chicken. From where? Like KFC? Unless it's not important. Liam Williams, 18, and Drake Salvatore, 19, were both charged for the kidnapping, torture, and brutal murder of Lil Timmy after police found the VHS tape recording belonging to Paul Hart, also 19, after he admitted in the hospital from a skateboarding incident where he died from his injuries just minutes later. The VHS footage shows all of them involved in the kidnapping, captivity, torture, and brutal murder of Lil Timmy. They stated that they were not in the not that bad to him and also fed him his favorite food before the murder took place both liam and drake received a death sentence for the crime paul hart died from a skateboarding incident broke his neck doing a little ollie on a four inch little uh, ledge little timmy when he was younger in his favorite jacket after eating his favorite lunch fried chicken the location where paul hart one of the killers had an accident some of his blood can still be visible that's all three of them so this is saying all skaters are murderers 